Now, if you're going to begin learning Azure, one of the first things you're going to want is a free account. Uh, now, this free account is going to allow you to actually go through and practice different activities and, and really get that hands-on experience that you're going to want to have. Now, of course, if you do have uh, an Azure account with your company and um, your company doesn't mind you uh, adding some resources on there to, to practice with, that's totally fine. The main thing is that you're going to be learning how to look at how much uh, money everything is going to cost you, and so it's important to make sure you clarify all that uh, before you start adding lots and lots of resources. Now with this free account, you are going to be able to spend some uh, some free credit. Uh, so to do this, we're just going to start here on uh, Google. You can go to Bing, whatever search engine of choice you've got, and then just, just do a quick search for Azure free account. Let's throw those keywords in there. And the very first thing that should show up, sometimes maybe an advertisement, but if there is an advertisement, just go below the advertisement, and you have create your Azure free account today. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. All right. So once we uh, go to this next screen, and keep in mind they change this screen frequently. Your screen might look a little different than mine, but no big deal. It should be pretty easy to, uh, to go from here. You should be able to find a button that says start free. But before we do that, let's just look at a couple of things. All right. Um, so the first thing to, of note here is that when you set up an Azure account, you, uh, you will get um, two, a $200 credit. Um, and keep in mind you do have to associate a credit card with that, but I'll, I'll mention that a little bit more in a minute. Um, but you do get uh, 30 days of $200 credit. They will not charge you for that. And the other interesting thing is even though you might associate, a, you'll have to associate a credit card with the account, um, it does not begin charging your credit card after that either. Uh, basically, the uh, you have to manually switch it to what is called a pay-as-you-go account before they'll ever charge you. So don't stress over that. Um, you will, but you will need some kind of a credit card in order to get the uh, free account started. But if we look right here, we have we get a free two hundred dollar credit. We also get a bunch of free services for 12 months, okay? So that's pretty neat. Um, you get $200 credit to, to play around with and add some of the paid services for 30 days. And then there's actually quite a few of uh, these free services that are available as well. They tell you 40 plus other services are free always that you get to play around with. And then for up to a year, up to 12 months, um, a bunch of free services. So $200 credit for 30 days that you can put towards paid, uh, paid services and then a bunch of free services that are available for 12 months. So if you take a look here though, it says after your uh, credit, keep getting the free services. So check this out. You get a bunch of free services. You get Azure uh, a Linux virtual machine to play, uh, play around with and Azure Windows virtual machine to play around with. Um, SQL databases, blob storage. Now, a lot of the stuff you may not know what it is, but just stand by on that. But ultimately, though, you get quite a few different services to play around with. If you want to see some of these other services, you can simply just click um, see all free services here, right? And you can look, a, look at a few of the other things that you can do there, all right? So once we are ready to create our free account, we're just going to click start free. At that point, uh, it is going to require you to have an email address, okay? Um, so at that point, if you have a, an existing email address, you can use, you can do that. However, I always recommend if you're starting out fresh, if this is, you're just beginning with Azure and, or maybe you're really nervous about mixing it up with your company somehow, mixing up this new account with your company's account or something, I recommend using a different browser or use incognito mode. And I also recommend just create a whole new email address, okay? That would be my advice. Um, and uh, so I'm going to click use another account. And then from there, it says, all right, do you have an email address? I'm going to say no account. I'm going to create one, right? So from there, you can uh, you can go right here, say create an account. And if you don't have an email address, you can say get a new email address. So I'm just going to put in, um, let's do uh, exam lab practice. And I'll just say um, Azure at Outlook.com, right? So then I'll click Next. All right, if it says it's not available, okay? And it might not be available. Maybe somebody's used the name already. Maybe um, maybe uh, they don't like the name Azure to be in the email address. You know, there's various things they could do there. So I'll just say Exam Lab Practice. Um, 
uh, jc at outlook.com. Okay, so that name's not taken. At that point, I just need to create a uh, email, a, a password. So I'm just going to put a password in there real quick, and we'll click next. Set a, uh, you know, set you up a birthday. Um, I'll just put in. There we go. And then at that point, it's creating you a email address. All right, of course, you got to prove that you're not a robot. That's always fun, right? Uh, pick the penguin. There we go. And we've now created ourselves an email address. And again, I highly recommend doing that. I highly recommend creating an email address just because um, that way you won't mix it up with any kind of a previous account or anything along those lines. Okay. So at that point, you just fill this out. And I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to be creating, I'm not going to fill this out myself just because I'm actually using it at a paid account that I've uh, got because I've already set up too many free accounts as it is. Um, but you basically will fill this form out. Uh, and then from there, you'll finish up the form, submit it, and at that point, you should have your Azure account. And, it, and from there, you will log on to Azure by going to portal.azure.com. All right. And you should be able to log on, and you've now officially got your uh, account set up, which my account is the JC at examlabpractice.com. And you are now officially um, in Azure and ready to start working with some hands on. Hey, this is John Christopher. I hope you enjoyed that video, and I want you to know that I'm trying really hard to grow this channel, so I hope you'll give me a like and a subscribe. Also, if you'll check the description in this video, I've got a link for you that can show you how you can get access to all my different courses. I have lots of different Microsoft certification courses that'll help you pass your exam. All right, thanks a lot for watching the video, and I hope to see you again.